All right, guys. So today we are going to be doing the blow-off valve solenoid uh, that we provide at Torque Motorsports on our 2017 Hyundai Elantra shop car. We have got all the tools laid out here. Take a look at the tools we've got. We've got uh, an aftermarket intake on the car, so it's going to be a little bit difficult for us to like show you how to take the factory airbox, get it out of the way. But we will show you how to get the intake out of the way. And then over here, we got our hose, solenoid, and zip ties ready for the install. So I am going to have our camera gal get over here and take a look at what we're doing. She's going to take a peek down here. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to pull the intake, get it out of the way. So a 10 millimeter over here. bolt out of the way, going to get that. Now I need to go back there by the back of the engine and I need to get the intakes off. That should be seven millimeter. So I'm just going to take this off here, loosen that, and then we just pick up and give it a little twist and ta-da. We're out. I'm going to set that down behind us. All right, so now what we got right here is we're going to be working with the boost on it. Now we do have some hoses in the way from the catch can and whatnot. But down here, There's shadow. I can't. Okay, we're gonna move spots. There we go. Okay, so right down here we got the boost solenoid. We have an aftermarket cold side pipe, but the blow off valve and the orientation is gonna be very similar to what you're going to be using on the stock or any other aftermarket blow off valve or type situation. So what I'm going to do? Nope. Oh, just took the hose out. Shoot, getting the hoses out of the way. Okay, so we, right here we got a little hose right here. We got to get out of the way. So I'm just gonna pinch this clamp. This is a factory hose. I'm just gonna try to pry that off. So get that off. So that stays attached to the stock blow off valve solenoid. Now I'm gonna come down here and there's a bolt that hold, holds the solenoid to the engine cover. I have my finger on it right now. It's kind of hard to see. It's gonna be a 10 millimeter. We're gonna take that off. Okay, and that should be loose enough to get down there with my finger. Now this isn't mounted in the factory location. The factory location is on the pipe. We've just moved this because we have the aftermarket pipe. Um, if you want to see the aftermarket pipe install for the Elantra or the second gen Velocers, we do have that on our YouTube channel. So you can go through and watch how to do the aftermarket cold side pipe with different blow off valves. So we've got that bolt almost all the way out. I'm gonna set that off to the side. All right, so we got those two out of the way. So now we have the boost solenoid, I'm oh, sorry, the blow off valve solenoid down here. And then you got a fitting, an electrical fitting. We're gonna, that you just push. See that little wire? You just push and pull. Pops right off, okay? Now we got two vacuum hoses on here. We got a vacuum hose here that goes all the way over. We got an airplane overhead, so give me a minute. Okay, so we've got a vacuum hose here on the bottom. We got a truck driving by. Today's just a noisy day. And we're gonna pry this off. Okay, and we're gonna pry off this hose over here on the other side. Now these two hoses are already aftermarket. Well, one of them is, sorry. Okay, we include hose with the kit for you to put the blow off valve on so you're not gonna be out here fighting and just wrangling around with everything. But since we already have one of the hoses on the bottom is uh, aftermarket, we're gonna go through and tell you how to go through and route them. So, I'm gonna look up, okay. So on the blow off valve solenoid, they're numbered. There's numbers here. You got two, one, and three, okay? Port one goes to your intercooler, okay? Or in this case, it's gonna go to the cold side pipe fitting, which is right here. Again, the stock cold side, the stock pipe will have a fitting on it, just very similar to this, just down a little bit lower. And then position number two, sorry guys, I'm looking at this. Okay, number two, which is over here, 
goes to the actual blow-off valve. So this fitting here will go directly down to the blow-off valve. And that's gonna be the first one I hook up. And last, number three, which is this one here, goes to, pan out a little bit, goes to this hose, it goes to the front of the radiator and across to the vacuum chamber on the intake manifold. And that's hose position number three. Okay, so let's go through and get these hooked up, okay? Oil is your friend when you're trying to push these on. So I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on these two. Show them what you mean by oil. Oil? Just a little bit of, just a spray oil. Okay, so, now who remembers what, what goes where? <laughs> okay. Port one goes to the intercooler. Goes here. Goes right here, I'm gonna do that one for later. Port two is blow off valve. So yeah. I'm gonna set this up to go to the blow off valve, which goes over here. So I'm gonna push this on to the fitting and it's gonna be tight, that's why we put the oil on. And you wanna get that pushed up as many of the barbs as humanly possible. And I got oil on the outside and on my hand, making it that much more difficult to push it up the fitting. Okay, I'm two barbs. Oh. It is gonna be a top fitting. Yes, it is gonna be very tight. Almost to the third barb. All right, we're just past the third barb, so I'm gonna take a zip tie. I'm gonna take a zip tie, and you can see the barbs through the hose. So I'm gonna take this zip tie, and I'm gonna tighten this down on the barb. I cannot believe all the noise on the road today. Good God. We'll wait for the fire truck to pass now. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten this up. Now, you wanna, when you go through and tighten it up, you just don't wanna yank on it because you'll break the barb. So you wanna put your finger on the zip tie and pull on the zip tie. So kinda like this. Okay, got that tight. Let's trim that zip tie back. Okay, there's number one. Okay. This goes to blow up valve. Yeah. That, we just went to the blow off valve. Now number three is intake manifold, and number one is intercooler. So number three is this one here, and this is goes over to your manifold. This one here hopefully is a touch easier to just give the old one, two, shove a do. Again, don't just mash it on, you'll break the fitting. Go through. Okay, we're past the third barb. Let's put our next zip tie on. So, go ahead and ask a question. Why do you have to stop at the third? Can you go all the way up? You can go all the way, but there's really no more sealing that's happening okay. if you go past the third. But it's not gonna fall off Absolutely once it's past not. the third. Okay. Once it's past the third and you got the zip tie on, um, okay. I run this on my SRT4 at like 40 pounds of boost, so it's all good. Okay. Okay, we got the second one. Okay, so now, we're gonna wanna tie in to the last one, which goes right here, and you're gonna wanna push this down a little bit, get the, the hoses out of the way, et cetera, et cetera. And you wanna find a good point to zip tie this, but I haven't attached the electrical yet. So let's go through and get the electrical connection hooked up. So the electrical, conne the electrical connection will only go in one way, so pay attention to the little rectangular Stop lot there and we got a little rectangular slot here. So those two fittings snap together and it will click. Now we're connected. So now I've got this solenoid in here that I've got to try to figure out how to zip tie down or what we're going to do. Normally, okay, so normally I would just zip tie this directly to like this fitting right here. What fitting? This, uh, this, this hose right here. So I'm gonna wrap this zip tie around this hose and around. Had a little interrupt in the video there, so let's start over where we're at. We're going to come around this hose and then around the solenoid. And there's an electrical outlet. The two wires come out of the back of the solenoid. Try not to make sure you don't overlap those. So I'm gonna get it pulled down here. Okay. So now we got it started, so get yourself squared up on that hose, directly behind the other, the factory fitting. And you get it snug down nice and tight, not too tight, you don't want to pinch the hose underneath. And there you go. 
They're tightened down now. They'll probably go a little bit tighter. Again, don't want to go crazy. Okay, so now we got that tightened down. I'm going to cut this. And the last one we have is the number one spot. And the number one spot goes where? Where, folks? Where? It goes to the factory fitting. So we're going to have to do a little loop-de-loop -loop with the hose that we provide with the kit. Cut the hose. Yep, we're not going to leave it this long, obviously. Ta-da! We're going to cut that down. So what I like to do is I like to push the hose on to the factory fitting. Get that on there. Rotate everything around where we need it. And this, kind of measure out what you're gonna need. It looks like that should work. Cut it. Okay, and we do provide additional hose here for different hookups. So if the blow off valve's further away or something like that, you have the additional room to do what you need to do. Do they need to replace hoses though? Uh, it's a good idea to replace them. Uh, you got some miles on your OEM hoses, it's, you know, putting fresh hose on there. This is going to be a, a bonus. Okay, so now we're just going to loop this around. Going to push this on now that i got oil all over my gloves and... To the third barb. Yep, to the third barb. There we go. That was kind of a bear. Slide that hose underneath your... I wish it could be like that. Or you can slide it underneath. Underneath works too. Okay, so now we're going to put the zip tie on that last fitting on the blow-off valve. Make sure you're getting it on the barbs. Again, don't pull directly on the zip tie. No. It will break the fitting. Do they have to be zip tied? Yes. I highly recommend you zip tie them because it just eliminates any leaks and any secondary problems that you may or may not have. And then here on the pipe, we are going to put a zip tie here on this fitting. And again, don't just pull on the fitting, you'll break the fitting. Put your finger on the zip tie, pull on the zip tie, cut the zip tie off. Okay, now we got everything cut. We got everything zip tied down and anchored. We got our electrical connector plugged in. And all we gotta do is hook up the vacuum hose that we yanked off to get the install done. I'm actually gonna go through and put a quick. Yeah, I'm gonna put a zip tie on that, but I'm not gonna do that right now in the video. Okay, so. Now all we gotta do is put the intake back on. You will have, since we didn't use both the, the bolt to put the OEM solenoid back in, you're gonna have a leftover bolt. I'm not gonna worry about that because we did zip tie the solenoid in its location. Okay, so with that being said, that is your basic MAC valve install for your, huh, pretty much every generation that has a blow off valve. And I'm thinking, Every blow off valve for every 1.6 is set up in the same configuration, so you're going to be good doing every single install there. There you go, MAC valve install with directions, locations for the fittings, and everything laid out in a descriptive way so you guys know how to get it installed. Thanks a lot for watching.